Hey everyone. Okay, I'm just going to get started. Sorry, we had a little bit of, there we go. Technicality, I appreciate <laughs> everyone for coming through, supporting, and I definitely want to say thank you so much to Nels of DC Now Events. I am Aaliyah Duran, one of the co-founders of Mombolic Studios. So I just want to give you a quick um, review actually of my studio itself, and I'll be happy to answer any questions after my topics. So Mombolic Studios is a multifaceted innovative company. What I wanted to offer and what me and my business partner, Smith Spit, aka Keyshawn, um, we wanted to offer something that was completely innovated, something that was not just a recording studio. So actually where I'm reporting to you from is our podcast room and we actually have been blessed to have many great bloggers and vloggers to actually come and film, do photo shoots, um, and even have great conversations here. And that's what <laughs> we definitely wanted to do. So um, not only that, um, I would actually love to give you guys a tour and I'll actually include it um, in my My Bike Studios IG page. Eventually it'll be there soon. But um, with My Bike Studios, we have a multi-purpose room. We have a podcast room, which is a private um, sanctuary as well, and the recording studio itself. Um, we're also fortunate to work with two other wonderful ladies, um, shout out to Sredica, <laughs> and um, they do microblading as well. So when you come visit our studio, um, one thing we do pride on is the exclusivity of um, the actual uh, venue itself. I don't have any signs or anything like that, and um, we want to keep it that way. We want to really, really portray the privacy for a high-end clientele and for people to feel when they first step into our studio, um, kind of like a day and night. So with the Beauty Academy, it's a spa, super bright. And when you walk into the actual studio itself, um, it's like Vegas. So we have custom lighting and I don't know, I'll get a chance to show you guys and all that. But um, this place was built on manifestation and um, <laughs> dreams and all that as well. But um, let me get on my talking points because I know I don't have that much time, but um, I wanted to talk about professional courtesy and those who are interested in starting a business, you know, and my topic is about building your credibility. Um, you actually, first and foremost, need to dress the part. Um, that is something that people do look at you because you represent your your brand, you represent your company. And so one thing that I would say people have noticed um, about particularly me and even my style and that's creating a signature style is they know me for my hats. So, and this is another way to actually help brand endorse, you know, yourself as well. So um, for me, whether it's doing a tour um, for someone that's even coming for a sit down or coming for a service, you always want to dress the part. Um, and that's how, for me, I was just like, I love hats. So I'll incorporate it into how people know me as. And so kind of give you a little bit of an example, like Kardashians, you hear the name, automatically you know that it's about fashion, it's about luxury brand, and everybody wants to work for them or with them. So creating that signature brand um, or even that style and people know you for, um, so like I see a good example for my hats, people will eventually reach out and be like, okay, well, I have a fly hat or I design hats. And that's another way of actually creating um, collaborations and also, you know, multiple services. Um, one thing that for me, I was super excited about was creating something different. And <laughs> what I wanted to do was to offer things in-house that people wouldn't normally see in a recording studio. And so, you know, when we do have clients to come in and they sit down, you know, we want the creativeness to come out of them. So sometimes we'll come in for a session and next thing you know, they're like, hey, let's do a whole photo shoot or, you know, let's sit down and, you know, come up with some tracks. 
things like that. But these are things that we could offer, you know, in-house. Thank you guys so much uh, for everything and even waves and all that. I'll definitely <laughs> make sure I get on there. Um, thank you, Rod. Thank you, V. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, I truly, truly appreciate everyone's support. It's, it's definitely, it's, it's amazing. And for everyone to even just support me. Um, but let me get back to <laughs> topics and all that. Um, so one thing, like I said, what we offer, um, even with photography, you know, we do have an in-house photographer as well. Um, actually, shout out to V. She's actually our second shooter. But when you create an experience, and this is when people, like I said, they come in and they come in for a service, you want to give people something that they're going to come back or something they're going to remember. And so, for example, when you do um, a photo shoot, um, and one of the things actually Jay was, Jay Bolden was one of our last people to come in and she was like, hey, let's do a photo shoot and all that lovely lady. Um, you know, one thing that I also offered, which was part of, you know, people that come in and they book for their services is art directing, you know, and that's something, and, and this, is a, this is the thing that I want to let people know. When you have something that you want to offer, you want to give something that people would always remember or not think of. So when you do a photo shoot, you know, half the time you're trying to figure out how to pose because you're not seeing it on the outside. You don't know if your hair is actually in place or if you're posing right or things like that. So those are one of the things that I actually come in and I look at it in all outside aspects. And I was like, okay, well, if I was to do a photo shoot, what would I want? You know, how could I um, more so envision myself and what would I want as a client? Also, another thing that I could also recommend is outsourcing. So let's say, you know, you do have something that you may not necessarily thought of. Um, we have a multi-purpose room here, so we do photo shoots, but then it's a great space. So why not be able to do a web seminar or even do yoga or even have an art exhibit? Those are things that you're actually outsourcing and thinking, you know, using what you have to create other streams of revenue. So one thing that, um, you know, I was discussing with DC Now events is this could be an actual, you know, it's his idea, but he's like, this could be an actual place for people that do their live, you know, when they do the small biz takeover, this would be the spot for them to come to, you know? So it's creating that environment and using what you have. And if you necessarily may not, you know, know how to put it out there, you outsource it. And that's what I mean also about building your credibility um, within other businesses, you know, great minds, they think alike. And so, you know, you want people, and it's most important, you know, to not only build yourself, but when they, <laughs> everyone, when you, um, when people hear, like for me, when people hear my Mbalik Studios, the reason why I made it plural was I'm actually a DC native native myself. So I wanted to create multiple studios, not just this one that we have, but every studio will be tied into a whole nother service that integrates, integrates. So like for here, we do have a beauty academy tied in that we, you know, got a chance to collaborate and all that with. The next one may be a whole different type of service. And so actually, I haven't released that out, but I have this amazing idea that I am going to pray on manifest and hopefully I can open up another studio in um, DC. So definitely hope you guys can check that out. Um, I do want to make sure that I can answer as many questions and all that um, as well. Can we hear? <laughs> Hey, Vanessa, and actually, this is that one of the lovely ladies, let me actually wave hi, that is part of, of um, our whole facility as well. She does great, amazing microblading. I used to actually, people don't know, I made, I've 
done microwave before and I've been there and done that. It's, it's super intricate. So we are absolutely excited to be working side by side as well. Hey, Sin. Um, do you guys have any particular, <laughs> particular questions and all that that I can ask, that I can answer for you guys? Because I definitely would love to know. Um, oh, and you guys can actually put it in the box in the question mark box, make sure you click on that. Actually, write your question or your comment, and you click it on the uh, box that has the uh, question mark on there, on the bottom left side. But um, as we're actually going along and all that, um, yeah, I do want to let people know, like I said, building your credibility is far, far, far important um, because you want people to know that you do good business. When they hear your name, when they know you know, who you're associated with, associated with, those are the things that people are like, oh my gosh, you know what, my box studios, I know they're legit, I know that they're professional, I know that I'm always going to get something that is far more than what I expected. And that's one thing that we do pride ourselves on, our pride ourselves on is the fact that, you know, we do sit down with every single client, you know, we do make sure that, you know, we, um, we sit down <laughs> and um, really, really listen and hear, you know, and try to create tailored packages for, you know, um, what it is that you want to achieve. Um, <laughs> I see as we said facts. Uh, so let me say this. Um, My box studios, this was just an office building. And when we opened up and we actually signed, you know, pretty much on the dotted line, um, it looked nothing like, like even the walls and all that. I remember, you know, sitting here and we actually have, you know, the ammo couch, if you guys can see that. Um, I was just like, oh, and actually let me put this above too. So we even have, if you guys can see right here, um, custom mirror ceilings and all that. So I wanted to create something where people can immerse themselves in creativity um, and to give you and to give anyone that actually visits um, the opportunity to immerse themselves in what's something they could, you know, create, birth, you know, actually even, um, like I said, like when I was here, I manifested sitting down on the couch and I was just like, all right, I should probably get a sign. And I researched it, you know, um, and I was sitting here and I was like, it'd be really nice if, you know, since this room was a particular size, how can we maximize it? And also shout out to Rojiba because they actually did the construction and all that as well. But, um, thank you, bro. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just, want to tell people that whatever that you want to do, always do your best to outsource, to do um, really good business, you know, and if you're not, you know, able to, let's, let's say is your strong point, outsource it because then people would know and that's how you build your credibility among other businesses like even with DC Now events um, we've been knowing each other we started around pretty much around the same time and um, we've been on our grind for quite you know quite a long time and even to have this opportunity you know I'm definitely I'm honored I'm blessed you know to be able to be a part of this takeover and to even be considered that is something that you know for me is an immense you know honor so, um, let me see, <laughs> I'm trying to like, on here, but, um, yeah, we definitely came a long way. Um, I'm trying to see, oh, I do see the questions. Hold on. Okay. So <laughs> let me say here. So I see boys promotions asked, where are you guys located and what's the fees and all that? Um, so, <laughs> okay, here we go. What, I know, I know I'm on short time, what other plans do you have for the studios? Okay, so Think of Class just asked, what other plans do you have for other studios, for your studios? 
what other plans do we have for your studios? Okay, so every studio that I am able to actually open up, and like I said, I am trying to, it'll always be tied into another, um, another collaboration. This is something that people never thought of. Uh, let me go into that. So something that's always complete innovative. Let's go to the next one. Oh, great question. I love that. Okay. So Golden McDoodle. <laughs> Thank you. So Golden McDoodle um, asked, <laughs> um, how did you came up with my bollocks? So uh, my one of my business partners, Bubble is singing shout out to her. Um, I used to actually have another company name and she even told me, she was like, hey, there's another company that has a summer name as you. You need to be original, just like Bubbleistic. Um, and she's been in the game for way longer than I have been. And so I was sitting there and I was just like, man, this is so mind boggling. And so I came up with mind boggling. And so that right there, it, it stuck. And mind boggling can mean anything. And so that was in the music and media entertainment. All right, so let me go to the next one. Um, and this is Van Lay. Oh, hold on. Let me go in there. I know I have about 10 minutes with you guys. Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to... Okay, what advice would you give to small businesses starting during this pandemic? And when there's many challenges. Okay. So... Here's my advice. And this is what I was saying about outsourcing. So whatever you decide to be or to offer, especially at this time, you want to be something or someone or a entity where it is needed. So I'll give you an example like with the recording studio. Of course. Everyone nowadays, they're having a recording studio in their basement or wherever else. But what's different, and that's the thing, you want to be something uh, that's different from the next. One, our pricing um, is basically un unbeatable. I definitely will say that the environment itself, because yeah, you, re you could record in your, <laughs> in your basement and all that, but... It is the entire atmosphere and is the experience is what we give you that's different from like no other. So um, you want to really think about, okay, well, what would make me different? And if, if like, for example, I know that with Manly, she has her own, um, she designs custom wear and dresses and all that. Shout out Wayne for my jumpsuit and all that. Um, you want to be something original. Hey, easy. <laughs> All right, let me um, go. I know that there is quite a few oh, on here. Okay. Um, and also, too, we are located in a private facility. So I do want to say something about that. Oh, okay. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> I just got the okay for 815. Thank you. <laughs> so um, I can definitely answer more questions. So we are located in a private facility in Maryland. Um, we do not give... We do not advertise the actual address. And the reason why is because we want to respect um, our clientele and for people that do come because how for the recording studio itself, it's 24 hours. And so for artists, you know, when they do actually have a booking and all that, we don't want to advertise. And it is a secure facility, meaning that um, you have to be either invited to come in or you have to be scheduled to come in. So we are located in Maryland, we're close to the border of DC, but you do not get the address until you actually book your service. So thank you, Icy, and we hope to see you guys soon. Um, let me see here. Okay, so I hear Jessica Drip um, just at, asked, what was the hardest thing about starting your business? Um, the hardest thing for me is creating, um, the experience and to be different. So, um, mean by that, I kind of had a vision, 
but for me I wanted to be more than just what I visualized and I wanted something to have longevity so um, it's creating that reputation it's creating that you know when people hear you know the name that they know that it's it's not just one thing it's multifaceted and it's minority owned um, but we are completely innovative and we are um, also you know multifaceted so I definitely would say really really for me um, the hardest thing and for a woman um, it's suffering <laughs> sometimes I forget but you don't really hear about many you know female entrepreneurs that actually have a recording studio so definitely that um, let me see and okay all right, I know for everyone that is just tuning in, I just want to reintroduce myself. <laughs> um, my name is Aaliyah Duran, and I am one of the co-founders of My Bike Studios here in the DMV area. Um, we are also multifaceted. We have a multi-purpose room. We have a beauty academy attached to us, and I'm about to answer Sortica. Um, Sorvestica MP, <laughs> which is one of our amazing... Um, ladies that is within our facility she actually has her own um microblading company and she said can you share any tips on how small creative businesses can stand out in an oversaturated industry okay so here's the thing and this is i'm giving an example like like i did for monbolic studios we offer we don't just record you offer multiple um services so for you um, let me give an example so you're tied in with us <laughs> Vanessa so it's like yeah you do um semi-permanent makeup which I'm definitely even familiar with myself you do different services as far as even um lip freckles you know areolas and things like that but at the same time for you I would say creating that environment and that peace of mind but then also having that not only that price line because i know right now even um in this industry even in the beauty industry everyone is some kind of artist right i've been there i've done that so for you is going against the competition and it may not be necessarily as far as just pricing but that's what I said about signature styles. And that's why I said the the things that you use um, as far as your equipment, things like that. And then what else can you offer? Well, if they book with you, not only would you have pictures and all that, of course, professionally and all that, but know that you offer a quality service like no other and packages that, you know, people can really come back or um, like let's say good example you do um, they get their eyebrows and all that done right so offer something else if they come back whether it's eyeliner whether it's lip and all that offer that a whole nother price range so they can actually come back on and if you do a referral and all that that's something and hey we can tie it into a whole photo shoot and all that those are things that you want where you're like dang thought about that well you know what you get that your your eyebrows are popping let's do a whole photo shoot let's actually you know you're part of this facility so why not do something where hey if you get you know you do a service you get you know a percentage off doing your own photo shoot showing off your eyebrows and all so <laughs> that's that thank you uh let me see what else okay oh that is a great question how do you make tough business decisions? How do you know the decision you make is the right one? Okay. So, everything is an experience. Um, and what I mean by that is you got to go with your gut and you got to go with yourself. So, everything that I was a part of um, in this process, even in picking out the furniture, you know, I didn't measure anything and I was just like well I hope <laughs> this couch looks great or these pillows or anything like that so um for me it's about 
experiencing and knowing, okay, like let's say you, you know, you did a booking for a shoot and all that, and um, let's say the photo shoot, it went great and all that, but you know, you could have probably offered a different, you know, addition to the service or things like that. So you actually have to go through it in order for you to reevaluate whatever. And we all, we all, the thing is for us, that's the reason why we don't have set pricing and all that because we offer tailored packages. So um, with that being said, you actually, the best, best advice that I can say is go with your gut, go with what you envision, go through it. And then once it happens, you know what to do the second time around. Um, let me see here. Hey, specialty cocktails. I'm actually, <laughs> I have one of your cocktails um, at the end of this. Let's see here. And um, any, oh, okay, well, I asked. Hold on, let me see here. And you guys keep the questions coming um, as well. Oh, um, two questions. So I don't personally have a podcast, but we do have people that come in. Like, for example, Thick the Class, she has come in uh, quite a few times to do um, podcasts in this from herself. Um, and I think the next one, any events and all that coming up. So um, for us, for the month of February, we actually have um, in a private event. And this is a thing too. We offer uh, private bookings as well. So you can book, like, for example, this room or even the studio or even the multi purpose room. Um, you guys can actually uh, book hourly or even, like I said, we create a tailored package and all that as well. But I believe Jess and Drip, they're going to be doing a private event on the 27th. Um, so, guys, make sure that you guys check it out. And then. Let me see here. I have a couple more minutes. So I want to make sure I answer a couple more. And we do. Um, we actually have a karaoke machine. So <laughs> definitely probably do a game night. No, that soon. We'll see. Um, any other question, you guys? I definitely want to make sure I can answer as many questions as possible. And for those who are just joining, let me just reintroduce myself and all that. Um, just so you guys can answer any questions from then on. Um, I, know, <laughs> I know I'm going to say it a few more times, but my name is Aaliyah Duran. I am one of the co-owners of Mambalik Studios. Our facility, we're actually reporting live from the podcast room. So if you guys, anyone that does blogging, vlogging, photography, um, actually in here, people have sat and actually wrote songs in here as well. Um, oh, Okay, so this is a funny, <laughs> someone's taking my karaoke, yes. Okay, so the thing is for a list of services, and I know this is really funny, um, a lot of our, a lot of our inquiries have actually been word of mouth, and this is one of the things I said, or I've said to people, building your credibility and your reputation, the best. And I've realized you can advertise, you can have a website and all that we actually know. Ours is still under construction, but we have plenty of great content. But when you do good business, that is the best form of advertisement. And that's why I say about word of mouth. When you offer a service, and this is what I was saying about, you know, for people to outsource any pictures or videos of what your studio looks like? Do you guys want to go on a tour real quick with me? Because I have like a few more minutes. So do you guys want to check out the uh, recording? <laughs> do we have time? I don't know if we do. I know. I'm, I, I could try to do a sneak peek and all that. I can probably do that. Um, but yeah. So right next door is the actual recording studio. And the lighting is actually pretty good. Um, I'll try to um, take you guys with me if it's possible. Let me try to do that because I have a few minutes. Hey, Z. <laughs> okay, so you guys this tour. Okay. All right. Um, so let me just give you a quick. So this is a famous emerald couch. I do have 
a few <laughs> some of the equipment and all that so um i have let me try to <laughs> give you guys i'm going to turn it around guys so and don't mind so this is actually our wall of instead of actually having a autograph wall i wanted to have and this was custom made once again from rojiba but when you guys come and visit we have a whole polaroid so this is the recording studio so everything in here has been custom made everything from the ceiling um to picking up the furniture and the artwork is by april nicole so i have a custom board um i know you guys so this is my custom bar so when people do actually come and visit and then when artists come in they'll have something to drink i actually have some capri funds by um cocktail specialty cocktails their drinks are amazing to do custom drinks and here is the actual recording booth itself so everything in here is pretty much a vibe and let me just give you that look in here so this is the and everything as well this entire room has been soundproofed so the dumb what you see down there or what you hear and know that's actually coming from the basement so this is <laughs> no one else from DC now. this is where the or the podcast and where we do interviews and all that and i'll just give you a super quick our doors are actually also um secured and all that uh and in here and i'm sorry i know i kind of the tapping of it is loud i do have um this is where's resica and our other partners while well, they do marco blading we do have by the way three um offices that would be for rent and here is the multi-purpose room so in here you could do training you could do um like i said yoga web seminars things like that even a small gathering you would be able to do that on here hey everyone so um i don't want to take too, too much time i want to be able to answer any other questions and all that you guys may have i'm gonna sit you right back on my ring and all that but um and thank you so so much and we also before i forget we are also offering um open house rates as well so let me try to answer just a few more questions but i have a couple more minutes i hope you guys who tune who were able to tune in were able to see the um recording studio which is next door i'm going to answer a few more questions um and then this is actually going to be recorded so you guys will be able to check it out a bit later um Okay, how can people best contact you about using the studio? Okay. Oh, and also, just so you know, guys, you guys can, I have it on pin, but you guys can follow. Oh, okay, one more um, as well. So the best way to reach us is on Instagram. So if you guys can follow my box studios, um, Nikki, who is our administrator, she actually does a lot of the bookings and she does the screenings as well. So me and my business partner, um, Smith Fit, we actually have the final say in everything. And so that's another thing. Um, we do have a screening process as well. Just simply because we want, you know, we've invested <laughs> hundreds of thousands of dollars within the studio and a lot of customizations and all that. So we want to make sure that for clients who do come, they spend their hard-earned money as well, that um, they are getting the best, you know, definitely of the best. Um, let me see here. So let me answer a few more questions. But yes, please contact us on um, Mindbolic Studios. Okay, and the hours of operation. So... Um, I believe for the Beauty Academy, they are particularly during the daytime and 
that should be basically Monday through Sunday. Um, you definitely want to check out through them. But um, for us, for the actual recording facility and the podcast room, we are 24 hours. So we do need a notice and all, of course, but um, in our best, our best times to really come in and all that is late night and all that. Um, okay. So I thank you guys so much. I have just a few more minutes. Um, more oh yes, if you want to follow us, make sure you hit the pin comment um, at Mombolic Studios. Once again, I am Aaliyah Duran, and I am one of the owners for Mombolic Studios itself. Um, Easy. Thank you so much for showing love and coming through as well. Um, let me see here. Do you guys have any more questions? Just to make sure um, that I am reaching everyone and answering everybody. Let's see. Let me see if <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking back up and all that. And Gary Michael, thank you so much. Loblistic, thank you so much. Cocktails with tea. Um, thank you, Nicole from La Nails for also joining. Thank you so much. Um, anything else? Hold on. And my business partner is actually on here as well. So Smith Smith, um, he's on there. I'm on Balik. And let me see here. Um... Let's see here. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to make sure that I oh want to answer all the questions and all that. And um, let's see here. Okay. Um. Oh, one more person asked. Hi, Ms. Mamalek. What does Mamalek as a conglomerate have in store for the future? Okay. So for me um, and what I want to do, and I think I've said it quite a few times, and for people that are just tuning in, um, the reason why I named Mamalek Studios is for multiple studios. And for every studio that I do open up, I want it to coincide or collaborate with a whole different um a whole different service. So right now we are actually are working together with, um, like I said, a beauty academy. And I'll actually, you know what? Let me put it out there because <laughs> I manifested this far out. So I was just like, you know what? And I have like three more minutes. So I want to open up and I'm going to put it out there because I know we work hard. Um, so for my next studio, which I would love to do, and I'm going to share it and give you guys the exclusive here on DC Now events. Um, I'm a DC native. I was born and raised in DC. So, of course, we're in Maryland right now. Um, we're close to the border of DC. But what I would like to do for my next venture, um, dealing with my Mimbolic Studios, and I'll put it out there because I'm going to go ahead and manifest it. But... For my next, my next project, what I would love to do is to open up, open up another recording studio, but tie it into, and I'll put it out there because maybe you never know who, who's joining in, you never know who is actually tied in or anything like that. But I would love to have a recording studio, my box studios, and open up a dispensary <laughs> as well. So, yeah, I think that those are great. I mean, we have a beauty studio, you know, beauty academy here, so you can do photography and all that. So, why not for DC open up a recording studio and coincide with a dispensary? So, there you guys have it. You have an exclusive. That is something that I am working towards, and I would love to. Put it together so and that's something like i said you know when you want to offer multiple services and also 
create something different. So why not have a dispensary and a recording studio? I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand. So you hear it anywhere else, at least you know where you heard it first. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think that would actually be a great idea. And do you guys have any other questions? Um, I know that. Oh, yeah, this definitely would be replayed um, on DC Now events. <laughs> I saw your kind of game shows. Yes. <laughs> so back in the day, let me give you a quick, quick. So um, we did this for years. Um, and a lot of people didn't know that it was actually women that were um, running a show. But we had a show called The Next Big Thing, and it was a live to one that's actually how i met my business partner um as well since but but um it was a independent showcase where um and if you ever heard the next big thing it was from robotic and mobilistic we traveled to new york baltimore here in dc philly um and we would do it once a month and every time we would offer something to our audience and to the artists that was different. But because we had, we knew so many different people, you know, like I said, a &Rs, um, we were doing BT awards, things like that. We actually even um, had an artist who actually um, had a song in a movie. So, um, <laughs> kill me, it's no good, <laughs> an easy go-go music. So, um, yeah. I've been in the entertainment field. I've been working for myself for over, wow, for over 10 years. So this is nothing but hustle and grind. Um, so, yes, <laughs> we travel quite, quite a bit. Um, and yes, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, one thing I can say, and just so you guys know um, a little bit as far as about myself, um, yeah, I've been working for myself for over 10 years and it is scary. You know, one thing about having the last job that I actually ever had, um, and I gotta, I gotta sign up, but the last job I ever had was actually working in a law office. So every job that I ever had, I had no experience in, but I knew what to say. And whatever it is that I, I got myself into, I managed a hair salon. I, even, I was even working in retail. Um, I was even doing um, shopping for celebrities and things like that. So I even did hair, makeup. Um, I don't know if I said I managed a hair salon as well. Um, and I worked even um, doing some like paralegal work for a, a law office. But every job that I ever had, I learned and I took it with me. And because I didn't necessarily have that experience, it's about learning. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be, you'll be able to see this. It'll be back on um, re uh, replay and all that on the C now events. But every experience, every job that I ever got myself um, into and all that, I know I gotta wrap up. I'm getting the, you gotta go. Um, I took that and I maximized in it and I applied it to the next thing. So good example, since I worked in my office, I can write up a contract. I know what to look for, what to include, things like that. I manage a hair salon. So that's why one of the, 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 you know, the services that I offer, and not necessarily for me to do makeup or hair and all that, but um, that's, what gave, that's what gave me an idea to do um, art directing. Simply because, you know, when you you put yourself in that position, you want to offer something that you didn't think of. So I take everything that I've ever, any job or anything like that I've ever had and experienced and applied it to the next and thought, how can I do better? So guys, thank you so much for joining DC Now Events and Mambalic Studios. I hope for you guys to follow us, reach out to us, any of your inquiries. Thank you so much. I'm going to sign out and... Peace and love.